everyone and welcome back to the multiplayer survival game part 4. Um, today we're gonna start... No, actually we're gonna continue where we left off with this um, any key event uh, with the key mapping. So, um, first we have to make um, a reference to our master character in here. So, we're gonna do from event begin play. We're gonna right click here and get controlled no, get pawn, get um, control pawn like this. Um, cast to the master character, like this, and promote to a variable and call this master uh, character. Um, when we've done, done that, we have this reference we can use uh, later here. So uh, let's save this. Now we have to go into our master character, open this one up, um, like this. So now we're going to exchange this, um, this event here for a custom one, so we can actually change the key binding for it. So we're going to right click, uh, type in custom, add custom event, uh, custom key, like this, and we're going to call this a move forward. Uh, we're going to add a variable, a float, and call it axis, like this. Um, so we're going to drag it there, we're going to drag this one here. So, And we're going to do this for every event, uh, every key mapping we want. So like we're going to make one for the jumping, we're going to uh, have one for for all the key bindings, like if we want to interact with our keyboard E, or if we want to change weapon for the quick slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we're gonna make an event for that one. So let's do another one custom key move right. Add an input, call it axis. Oh, it's gonna be nested. Like this. Um, I'm gonna make two more down here called custom key crouch and I'm gonna make another one cost custom key sprint like this. Okay so yeah, let's do this one too. Custom key jump. Uh, we're not gonna have this stop jumping um, right now. Uh, I don't think actually you need that one. Uh, not sure why they have it. So. Yeah, uh, don't mind that. We can just leave it like this. So compile and save. Now we have to go into our game instance here. Uh, make a new variable. We're gonna call it a cust oops, um, custom key um, forward. We're gonna have it um, a text variable type. We're gonna make a new category for it, uh, key mapping. We're gonna have um, custom key backwards. Can remove the S backward. And uh, we put in the key mapping. New one, custom key. Uh, right, put in key mapping, custom key left. So we're gonna do this for all the things we want. Custom key sprint and custom key crouch 
and custom key jump. Put all of these in the key mapping category so we have it organized like this. Okay, so now we have to define what key do we want to uh, to press for going forward. So I'm going to use uh, W backwards, it's going to be an S, right, D, left, uh, it's going to be A. Make sure this is a capital A, capital letters. Uh, sprint is going to be left, shift, like this. Capital L and capital S. <coughs> Crouch gonna be C for me. And jump is gonna be space bar. Compile and save. Um, now we can go back to our play controller. Uh, let's remove this. No, that part. We're gonna use this. So. We need one more reference here, so we're gonna get game instance cast to our game instance, and same like before, we're gonna make a variable um, game instance like this. So now we have our uh, reference to the master character and the game instance. So. Um, I'm holding B and left clicking, you get a branch. Uh, you can also do if you get a branch. You can also type in branch like this. But the fastest way is holding B and left click. Okay, so if we're pressing a button, oh, sorry, we're gonna check if that button is equal to our custom key forward. So if the, the press key here, the display name of that is the same as custom key forward, this true here will shoot and we can take our master character and custom move forward. You see like this. Um, yeah, so um, if the, the set key is W and uh, the press key is W, uh, it's going to be true and we're going to shoot this. So Perfect. I'm, I'm going to remove that because uh, the movement keys is a bit special, so we're going to do them later. So we're going to start with, um, with the custom, we start with the jump key, like this, custom key jump, compile and save. Uh, we can try this now, so if I'm going back here, press play and press my spacebar, uh, nothing is happening for some reason. Oh, I uh, don't know why, but now it's working. You see when I'm jumping, but I can't move around because we haven't done that yet. I can't crouch, I can't sprint. So, this is how you set up a, a key mapping system. Um, might not be the best way to do it, but this is working and it, it's pretty easy. So, you just have a couple of branches here. And if it's not that key, we're just going to check a next one, and next one, and next one. So um, we will try to organize this better, like this. So gaming is done, custom. Uh, let's take the sprint. Copy and paste. Are we pressing the sprint key? If that's true, custom sprint. Like this. 
So that's actually all you have to do. Uh, take the next one, custom crouch. And drag it up. So if we are not pressing the, the jump key and not the sprint key, but we're uh, pressing the crouch key, we should do custom crouch true here. So uh, we're gonna fill up with a lot of um, events here and a lot of branches and stuff like this when we have more stuff to press on. But for now, we just have this free setup. Um, so now we're gonna start working with the movement. So we can move forward, backwards and stuff like that. Um, and for that, we need some uh, more variables here. So we add one more forward. We'll have one backward right and left. Uh, I'm holding Alt, dragging out this one, backwards, right and left. I'm gonna explain soon what I'm doing here. Uh, holding B and left clicking, couple more branches. From false to the next input here true into this one here, this one here, and this one here. We're gonna set these to true. If we are pressing a custom forward key. So if we're pressing the forward key, this is true. We're gonna set forward to true. And we're gonna use this uh, variable here um, in a moment. I'm just gonna finish this free here. Custom key backward. Custom key right. And custom key left. Nope, sorry. Um, for some reason my, my recording software just stopped working. So, you didn't see me doing finish this one here, I think, like these two, but yeah, uh, this is what it should look like. Uh, we just added this here and set this to true. Um, I started to making this before I realized the, uh, the recording was uh, stopped. So, we're going to add four branches here. We're going to drag out these variables here. Uh, I'm pressing S, left click, to add a sequence. I'm gonna make four pins, and one to each here. Gonna make it a bit nicer. Like this. So, um, if the forward key is true, I'm going to take the master character, um, custom key move forward. We're going to set that to one. Um, custom key move right. It's going to set to, oh, sorry, it to one here. But if we're pressing the backward key, we're taking the move forward like this, but minus one. And same goes for the left key. If we're pressing the left key, minus one, sorry, minus one here. So this is what this should look like. Oops, don't forget to drag the target here. Um, the only issue we have now is that if we press in the key forward one time, it's gonna set the true. Um, but when I'm releasing that button, it's still gonna be uh, true. So we have to make all of these again, but from the release any key here. So we're gonna set that to false. So I'm gonna take all of these here, copy, paste it down, down here, drag from released, this one, 
gonna take this one here to all of these four like this gonna take out my game instance reference to all of these uncheck all of these to false and now if we are trying this we should be able to move again so let's try left and right forward and backwards see and I can jump so now we have set up our own um, key mapping system so if I'm going back to the game instance here if I'm changing the forward key to let's say T I can't move forward with my double V so I have to press T to run around so later on we can use these um, variables here in a key mapping um, settings uh, window so people can change this to whatever they want so that's pretty cool so I think that's it for today's video uh, next one we're gonna change uh, fix up all the animation for the crouching for when, when we're sprinting walking and stuff like that so uh, the next video is going to be pretty long, I think, uh, but we set up all the animations with the blueprint, the, the blend space and stuff like that. Um, so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.